that. There are tons and tons of money to be made. Tons and tons of money to be made by propagating hate Pakistan. Anil Sharma does exactly that. And what success! His gather, Ek Prem Kata revisited, has the same features that made Gadar a great fellow, a successful. Watch this for its impunity. Watch it for how unapologetic it is. Watch it for how unpretentious it is. And sit down and wonder what success it is. It is now among the top grosses of the year, according to trade pundits alongside Kerala Files. Is there a hidden story there too? Anyway, uh, Gadar has the principal characters, Tara Singh and Sakina. Tara Singh, of course, is uh, Sunny Duel. Sakina is Amisha Patel. Amisha Patel. Only continuity justifies her presence. And it's so, so, so obvious that the film is Sunny Deol centric and hate centric. And it's beyond imagination, except on Sharma, of course, that you could translate this kind of bravado in the name of uh, love for the country. Very interesting. There's a character by Mushtaq Khan who helps Indians in Pakistan to fight the Pakistanis or to be anti government But if the same thing would happen in India, I wonder what we would talk about. And that is glorified there. Be that as it may, we have the whole story about uh, war escalating, circa 1971. Uh, do you hear once or twice shouts behind about Mukti Bahadi, Joy, Mujibur Rahman? somewhere in the background to add some kind of a historic authenticity to the story. Otherwise, it's a clear cut Pak versus India, Pakistanis mounting uh, terrible statements about India. It's about the good Indian soldier and the bad Pakistani soldiers. Uh, when a Pakistani loves his nation, it is uh, bad. When an Indian loves his nation, it's patriotism. This double speak reeks through the film. You have uh, Utkarsh Sharma playing uh, the next generation of uh, uh, patriots from the family. They have a knack to love girls in Pakistan. Like Papa did now Jeet Utkarsh. Also falls in love with a girl, Sibrat Kaur, called Muskan in the film. And how they defy the system, how history repeats itself, how uh, two, three people are enough to fight a whole army of people is what uh, the Prem Katha is. It runs for nearly three hours. You would think you're sitting and watching Gone with the Wind of Ben Hak. Take a breath. You need a long breath for watching this movie. It's loud. It's creaky. It's over the top. It is sunny dual all over the place. And in all fairness to the actor, only he, I guess, in contemporary Hindi cinema could have done what was done with an order of authenticity. He's the only saving grace in the movie. If you really are and be your fun, watch the movie. Utkarsh, who happens to be Anand Sharma's son, I don't see too much happening for him, not with this kind of a cinema. Let's see how much this Nepo kid makes it. But otherwise, this version 2. I'd rather go back and watch version 1 again. Version 2 is very, very concentrated and brazen. Thank you, Abhinav. Thank you, uh, Datu. And viewers, if you all like uh, Gadar, do tell me what is it about the film you like. I'm curious. Bye-bye.